you, God, that's hot. No, it's not hot. <laughs> Dude, you're tripping. <laughs> Santa eating tacos. Hola, me da seis tacos. Van a ser how many of steak tacos do you want? Mira, hoy, hoy el martes tenemos los taquitos de trompo a un dólar. Todos los martes. Mm. Es, es, es este como algo muy popular. Which one do you want? O oh, tenemos las carnes de arriba. Oh, All right, so van a ser. Y lo más popular que tenemos aquí, sí. lo que tenemos últimamente, es por los queso y tacos, que son tres taquitos dorados, queso fundido, birria, que es de recto, es una carne de recto, que dejas cocinar por dos horas, está bien suavecita, oh, sí. a un lado le ponen el caldito caliente de consomé, te voy a decir algo. Ay, güey, I don't know. I don't know, es que no sé, si, no sé si la gusta. ¿Tienes tacos de carne asada o no? Sí, también, pajita. Muy, muy Dame suave. tres de pajita y tres, tres de, pajita. y tres de pollo guisado. ¿De maíz? ¿Quieres want corn o flour? I, hey, it's your world. Come on. Come on. ¿Le quiere con uh, mayonesa? Sí. ¿Por qué? ¿Quieres una horchata? No, ¿qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? Melón, horchata, limón. ¿Qué es eso? Lemon. Uh, Watermelon. 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 Large. Sí, por favor. Y a mí me hacen una. All right, so we are here at Tacos El Bigote in Houston, Texas, with Will Hobbs, who ordered a large watermelon. Sandia, do you like watermelon a lot? I do. I love watermelon. <laughs> I had a watermelon kombucha this morning on my way to the airport. Which which brand of kombucha? Synergy. That's a pretty good one. I actually my favorite is the guava one, and I like the, yeah, the the pink lady apple. Which one is which one is that one? It's, uh, the Synergy brand, pink lady apple. Well, welcome to the taco blog. I am super excited. I known Will for probably ten years. 10 years. He tell, tell them how you uh, at the first time that you saw me, that you met me, like what was it at the APW show? It's the APW in the garage. You were, were you signing up? Are we talking about? Are we talking about the show? No, you can like the first time you saw me. It was like that I went to APW. This is before him and I were anything on the business. Like he was a big time. Were you? Oh. I wasn't big time yet. Big well, time. you were big time there, though. No. This is a real deal. You got... What is that? Onions? Onions, yeah. Is that enchiladas or no? Yes. Yeah. They're spicy. Spicy onions. Ooh. They're hooking us up. Um, <laughs> it's been that long. I can't remember the first time. I just remember your tag team partner made me grab something from his. Oh, store. so we were we were called PB and J. PB and J, check which, that out. Which stood for Pretty Black and Jack. Well, you're still, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, we had a candy bar. I said PB and J. Took the candy bar. You were blushing. You were red. Put when you, there? Put you on the spotlight. <laughs> yes, I was. Put you on the spot. Yes, yes, I was. Oh my gosh, I don't do spice. Well, you're not. You don't have to eat the spicy part. So tell me, tell me more about Will Hobbs. Like one thing that people don't know about you. Um, what about me? What about me? What about me? I love comic books. He's a nerd. I watch cartoons. Not because I have kids, but I watch it on my own time. I, th I was just gonna say, well, you have kids, you better watch cartoons. And then what else? Quiet. This is the thing. I thought I'm he was gonna quiet. be super loud and I'm then quiet. How is it Will Hop, one of the biggest guys in the roster, so quiet? It's quiet. You always been like that? Yeah. I people watch. 
Uh, people watch. That's dangerous. It is. People watch. <laughs> people watch. Observe everything. So. So, are you? Were you born and raised? Oh, there you go. That's a chicken. Chicken tacos, taco guisado. And this is a fajita taco. So your six tacos. Oh wow. You only got one. Mm. Oh. You only got what? Three. Huh? Gracias. Thank you. So he got the tacos right here. Three and three. Chicken, because he, you know, he's still on a diet. And I got chicharron and chicken. And then I wanted to start because, you know, it's too hot right now. Chicharron. Chicharron. So tell me how, so you're being like a nerd and everything. What got you to become a professional wrestler? So my grandparents moved from Mississippi to mm -hmm. San Francisco. And they would always go to the Cow Palace to yes. watch wrestling events. And they would take my dad, my aunts, my uncles, my cousins. And by the time I came along, it was already on TV. So that was it. I knew. I think I knew. Like when I was three years old, I wanted to wrestle. How? Who did you see that you were like, "Oh my God, this is like this is what I want to do for the rest of my we, life." We always had my grandparents recorded everything. So I was watching old stuff. Oh really? I think one of the first matches I remember watching was Dusty Rhodes versus Ric Flair. Oh, that was a good one. And then I remember watching Superstars on Saturdays, and just we watched everything. Did you go to any shows? Yeah, I used to go to the Cow Palace religiously. There, With your grandparents? Yeah. And then we would go to San Jose Arena mm -hmm. whenever they would come in town there. And then when I got old enough to buy my own tickets, mm -hmm. I'll go by myself. You went to like the other company's shows, I'm assuming? Yeah. Okay. When did you start going to indie shows? Uh, when I was 13. Oh, which one was your first one? APW. No way. Yeah, so my dad's best friend... Um, Used to wrestle, mm -hmm. Max Justice. Mm -hmm. uh, you you seem to be on the mat. Yeah, I have. Remember the big white dude that was gonna throw the dude off the balcony? Yeah, that spit on him. So that's my that's, that's my goddad. So I will go to APW shows. Wow. Then when did you start actually wrestling? And how did you make? Because we both came up with uh, this guy, Dane Famous, rolling out Sander. Do you remember the first time you met that guy? Yep. I do. I called Roland like 15 times and he got pissed off. <laughs> and then I kept calling him. You want to be a wrestler, right? Mm -hmm. How old are you? Oh, God. 19, 20. Were you in college? No. School wasn't for me. What? Wrestling is for me. Wow. So that was like the one thing that you want to do your, your whole life. Yeah, I would sit in class writing my own autograph. Put my own matches together. Did you ever wrote any of your matches? Did I what? It, like when you were in school instead of writing, you know, oh, yeah, five I, by five? Yeah. I was, yeah. I had my notebook taken away so many times. Because you were writing matches? Mm -hmm. Storylines? Yes. So tell me more about that conversation that you had with Roland when, when you first called him. He gave me the whole plan about dieting, and he was drinking a, a Coke in front of me, talking about diet. Yep, that's him. Um, <laughs> said everyone doesn't make it. Gave me the whole spiel. Mm -hmm. Had like 25 people started off in our class. 25? And only two of us lasted. Which was your tech team partner, or that no, was your field? he started after this. was uh, Mikey J. My, who's Mikey J? Do I know him? Drugs money. Drugs money. He's still wrestling. The Bay Area. Yes. Shout out to Drugs Money. I saw him and he was really happy to see me. Yes. Yeah. So, nice dude. That's my man. That's my dude. Nice dude. Um, so you call him, he told you the old shit, and you started. How old were you when you started wrestling? It was the summer. Uh that was what? Twenty? When I was when I was twenty. I hated it. Thought we were gonna get right in the ring. Spent two weeks doing cardio. Yep. Puking up in a bush. Yep. Did you train prior to that? Like you went to the gym and you were like, oh, fuck, they're about to kill me. No. I didn't start getting into the gym maybe like my second year. Yeah. Will, what? Yeah. <laughs> You're a professional wrestler, bro. <laughs> I, know, I know, I know. But then start getting in the gym, building my body, start getting booked. And... 
that was that. Well, do you have pictures of you, how you look when you started? I do. I'll send you some. Oh, my God. I have to see this. I'll send you some. Were you jacked? No. Were you fat? No. Were you skinny? Yes. You were skinny? Well, I just ne I, I just never in my life have seen him like. The day I signed up or day the first class. What was it called? Like, what was the first week called? Boot camp? Hell week. Hell week. Yep. I think I weighed in like at 150 something pounds. You hear this, sir? 150 pounds. How much do you weigh right now? 267. 267. 100 pound difference. And this motherfucker's muscle. When I first met him, he didn't look like that. He was bigger. Were well, you bigger, right? Fatter. Yeah. I didn't want to say that, but you said it. Uh, you know, um, go way back. <laughs> yeah, we do. Uh, so when did you knew? What was like the one thing that you were like, I am destined for greatness. Like, I am going to make it. When was that moment for you? Like, Probably. When I got to AEW, like being an extra mm -hmm. during the pandemic, I kept getting invited and invited and invited to come back. And then I did the uh, the Battle Royal, All Out Battle Royal, 2020. I wasn't even signed yet. Well, they let you do it? Yeah. I was like one of the final six participants. So it was good. That was one of the highlights of my career. So you've done a lot of tag team. When did you start doing singles? Matches. I started doing singles 2000, 2006, no, 2016, 17, when that started, it started really kicking off for me. So you started going out like to other places? Yeah, places? venturing off on my own and taking risks, buying my own flights, maybe getting 20 bucks. What? After a show. Sometimes I would drive like I would do shows. I would drive from Oakland mm -hmm. to LA, wrestle, and drive back the same night. Well, I've done that before too. It's, it's brutal. It's about seven, eight hours. Yeah, brutal. You just did it by yourself. Yeah. Get you, in my car and go by myself. You guys don't understand how that was. Like that was one of the hardest from for me. One of the hardest times. But I used to drive with Brian, but it was like, we used to like flip, and then he always gave me the last two f***ing hours. So he was already asleep, snoring, and I'm here like dying, like, oh my god, I'm about to die, like. But doing it alone, that blows. Well, god. Turn on the AC, play some good music. What's your, what's your favorite music? It depends on my mood. Okay, so when you're in a good mood, what's your favorite music? Am I sleepy or am I not sleepy? When you're not sleepy. Uh... I listen to a lot of I listen to a lot of Tupac. Oh, Is that uh, Tupac. Yeah, that'll, that'll get me hyped up and enraged and ready to fight. Is that spicy? I don't know. I'm gonna try. I'm Is I'm it, telling you, I, I don't I don't got the guts for. Don't do it. If you don't, don't do it. Mm. It's not spicy, but it's hot. No, what was hot is this one, the one that I ate, the chicharron. Birthday, that spicy is as fuck. Spi yeah, it looks like it's spicy. Oh, well, I'm not fucking with it. You don't like spicy? No. Why? I don't have the guts for it. You get the runs after it's spicy? I just, it's just, like, it's just bad. What, what is your bad, a bad experience that you have eating spicy food? It just burns. From it? From Going in mouth? and out. In and out. Preparation H. I've been there before. It hurts. Oh, yeah, it does hurt. I was just talking to my editor one time because we always talk about sh like literally. And um, and I was telling him, my asshole hurts. <laughs> like literally. But, you know. It hurts. Mm hmm. Spicy? No, yeah, that's good. It is? The green sauce. No, it's not spicy. It's pretty little dark. This chicken is dry. I like that. This is spicy. 
It's not spicy roll. Trying to let it marinate. It's not spicy. No. Just put it on. Gosh. It's not spicy at all. Like pour it in. If I die. You're not gonna die. You're die. fine. There you go. That's how you pour it in. You know why it feels the chicken is right because we let it sit for too long? No, actually we had juice in it. So I should eat the chicken first. Probably. No, you know. But it has a good flavor. To me, it had a good so what is your favorite match you've done so far? My favorite match? For AEW. Mm. Blood and Guts. Well, no, was it, was it Blood and Guts? No, it wasn't Blood and Guts. What was it? The, the match where you guys were bleeding everywhere. I, would, I have two like that. Your guts almost came out. No, light, lights out. That's lights out. Match. There we go. The cage match, I was bleeding nonstop. Like my, my, my clothes completely full of blood. The one in San Antonio. There's pictures and where like you see nothing but red all over. Is that your first time using thumbtacks? That's the second time. It hurts. Like, bro, I'm telling you, like I landed on my whole entire side. There was like a hundred of them. I couldn't I couldn't feel anything until I got back to the back. And they pick them out one by one. Yes. When when did you do one like that? To the all out battle royal. Darby threw a bunch of thumbtacks down and got slammed on them. And then I ended up hitting Seidel with the spine buster and I had thumbtacks all in me. I don't know how, but I had them all in me. Did, you, did it hurt at, the, at first or did it get Yeah, they hurt. Like it was just a bunch of little pinches. Yes, I remember being. I'm not. Are oh, you flexing on me? I felt that. I'm always flexing. I, fle I felt that. I mean, he's always flexing on me. He's hard, by the way. Very hard. Um, what's your favorite match? Inside of AEW or outside of AEW? Inside is probably my match with CM Punk, my match with Keith Lee. Those two are right up there. And then my favorite match outside was probably against Jeff Cobb. Just go. It's another dude that started kind of like at the same time with the, with us. Or was he like, he started wrestling before us? In before. He was uh, in Sacramento. Hawaii. No, Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah, he's an Olympic champion, right? Did he win silver? Or what, what did he was like? Brown? Bronze? Or? No idea. Would you know, look? He's an Olympic wrestler. He's an Olympic wrestler. He was like really, really good. And him and I you used to wrestle in, in where? In APW or? Wrestle for APW. With Marcus Mack? Yep. Shout out to Marcus Mack. That's another one from the Bay Area who runs shows. That who took AEW shows and then he ran them in San Francisco. So you... Oh, you, God, that's hot. No, it's not hot. <laughs> Dude, you're tripping. That shit is not hot. How is that hot? That is not hot. He is tripping. Dude, that shit ain't hot. I'll tell you if it's hot. It's not hot. Something I ate was hot. Well, not this. I'm gonna give it. What did you eat that is hot? I don't know. You tripping? You ordered it. Something I ate was spicy. It's tripping. It's just. It's not spicy. You are. You're being a little pussy. Something I ate was spicy. <laughs> I'm going to be on the toilet later. I'm going to be texting you. Whatever he needs, he needs to lose a couple pounds anyway. It hurts. Oh, God. It's not spicy. He is tripping. You should have seen You should have seen Simon Miller. He actually bit a Serrano Chile. He's white. I ain't, I he ain't turned red. That. I ain't doing that. Yeah, it was It was one of the greatest things you guys ever seen on the Taco Blog. Todo bien? Sí, gracias. ¿Por qué? ¿Les gustó? ¿Pasó la prueba o no? A mí sí, <laughs> pero él no puede comer nada enchiloso. Yeah, oh. yeah, me duele la panza. Oh. Pero no, no, había, no traía nada picoso aquí, nada más ¿Sí? es lo que le ponen. Sí, y quise decir que no tiene nada spicy. No. Estoy tratando de setearme up. Y me ha traído habanero sauce. No, no, aquí se me vomita. 
besides you being signed, what is another best moment in your life? Either it could be with your family, like being a dad. The first one, second one, third. Oh, all, all three of them have different personalities. Yes. And it's one's quiet, and one's just hyper twenty four seven. The other one's bossy. That's a girl. Yeah. How old is she? Could be two on the twenty nine. And she's bossy already. She runs the show. Wow. She runs the show. So are, it's, are your kids proud that you're gonna, that you're a wrestler? Yeah, I think so. They always want to wrestle, so I guess that's a a good sign. So, yeah, just just being a dad. That's that's the besides wrestling, being a dad is it. the most fulfilling thing in the world. Yeah. So that's living my dreams. He is taking care of my kids. He is doing You're a sneakerhead. Would you consider yourself a sneakerhead? No, I'm I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be. My son is though. Which one? The oldest? The one, yeah. How old is he now? 16. Oh, yeah, he's on that age. Six foot five, size 17 shoe. Excuse me, what? Yeah. 17? How does he find shoes? Online. eBay? Online, yeah. Are they like super expensive? No, not all the time. Sometimes you get deals. 17? 17. Six foot, how the heck is he that big? He's just big. Six wait, wait, five. Wait until he starts hitting weight. See if he's gonna oh be. Think he's gonna be a monster. Does he play basketball? What position does he play? Forward and center. He likes to serve. Nice. Is he trying to go straight to the NBA? No, I don't know what he. What, he doesn't know what he wants to do. He just knows basketball is going to get school paid for. So. All right. As long as some, somebody's gonna pay for the school, mm -hmm. it's all good. What about your middle child? Is he like totally opposite of your other one? He's crazy. How? His name is Bam Bam. He's crazy. Are you serious? His name is Bam Bam. He's crazy. He's four years old, the size of a seven-year-old. He's just... Wait, so when you were, like, making these kids, were you on, like, roids or something? Because his freaking kids know. are he's my humongous, kid. dude. He's just huge. He's, uh... He's into Sonic the Hedgehog right now, so everything is Sonic. And my daughter, she'll be two, and she's, like, the size of a, a three-year-old. He's just real slim and slender. She does every. She wants to do everything the boys do. Of course. Yeah. Of course. But she bosses them around. Is she like? She has curly hair. Yeah. She like likes pink. Yeah. She she wants to change outfits like four times a day. But she's only like doing. Yeah. That is so cute. I know. I'm just gonna tell you, this guy's been working super hard from like the moment I saw him back in, you know, 2020 to now. Like he's changed his body, he's changed his mentality, he's focused, he's grateful. Um, he works really, really hard, and he's he's always there and willing to do the work. And I think that's one of the things that we miss a lot of the times in 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 professional wrestling. And just overall, in like every job, there's people that are willing to change to make a difference, not for other people, but for themselves. Yes, yeah. And to. I and I think Will Hobbs is one of them. So with that, I want to thank you for being here on the Taco Vlog. Um, oh, he ate six tacos, man. I know. Never seen anyone that eating six tacos besides me. Um, but um, but I want to thank you for being here. And, and, thank you, thank you. And he liked the watermelon juice. He drink that. I drink my Topo Chico. Oh, yeah. Now I want to also thank my sponsors, the Modern Wellness Center for sponsoring this taco vlog. And don't forget to follow them. And if you do all the stuff that we are promoting, been promoting, you can win a giveaway that it's worth almost a thousand dollars. So they send me all the items. Can I enter it? Yeah, you can enter it. Or I can actually send them your way. They send you some free stuff. I, I, They're I, really, really good. I but I'm going to get all the stuff so I can try them all. And you guys can see I'm not lying. I use all the products that they give me. So make sure you follow them, like them, and share this. And then also, what are your social medias? So I can uh, you can find me on Instagram at true underscore will underscore Hobbs or on Twitter, the Twitter, at true Willie Hobbs. And you can also watch them on Dynamite. And Rampage. And Rampage or on Dark or, or Elevation. Dark Elevation. So with that said, thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. Uh, we need you guys to do that because we need to see more of you guys watching this vlog. And with that said, I'll see you guys next week.